Hey everybody, Jace Allen here. Welcome back to the Guitar Dungeon. And today I am playing a Ventura Bruno V12 acoustic guitar that I got from a garage sale for $10. So stick around. So what I like to do uh, on occasion is to uh, visit garage sales because you never know what kind of uh, deals you might uh, you might pick up. And one such deal was that right there. That's a Ventura Bruno V12 acoustic guitar. So I'm in this garage sale and I'm looking around. You know, I don't really see much. Uh, you always think that guitars would stick out at a garage sale, especially if that's what you're looking for. But uh, this one didn't. It was sitting on a table way in the back of this pole barn uh, at this garage sale. And uh, I looked and I'm like, well, there's a guitar sitting there. And it looked like a, you know, a fairly decent, not not really a full-size dreadnought, but it looks 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 more like a, a concert style uh, guitar. But it looked, you know, it wasn't a kid's guitar or, or a, you know, a toy guitar or anything like that. And I'm, I'm just like, hmm. So I pick it up and I look at it and it's got ten dollars on it so i didn't even play it well the strings were all broken on it but i didn't even you know i didn't even look it over or anything i'm like ten dollars sold i'll take it so there it is so uh let's play it and see how it sounds okay so this is the guitar this is the ventura bruno v12 uh made in japan so this is a japanese uh era guitars uh japan was making guitars i think I think in the 60s is when they started making uh, guitars and then I was it 70s that was the lawsuit era of guitars I don't I don't know my history all that well I'm sure people will correct me in the comments but anyway this is uh, made in Japan um, uh, you could kind of tell if a guitar has a solid top on it by kind of looking into the sound hole and uh, I'm pretty sure this is a laminate top Sometimes it's hard to tell. Sometimes the manufacturers would put a ring of solid wood in in there, and you wouldn't you wouldn't be able to tell. So when you looked in there, it looked looked like solid wood. But I think this is a laminate top, uh, laminate back and sides. I'm not sure what kind of wood that is. It might be mahogany, but it's it's got a really cool look at that tortoise shell pattern almost to it. It's it's kind of a uh, so I don't know if they did if that's an effect that they did with some stain or what, <laughs> this is interesting, it's got a wood grain plastic pick guard on it, that's kind of funny, I've never seen that before. Uh, this is probably a, a rosewood uh, a bridge, and uh, it's got a straight saddle in it, kind of like the uh, uh, uncompensated, kind of like the Yamaha, a lot of the Yamahas are like that. The Yamahas though, they'll turn the slot on an angle, so it sort of compensates it uh, but this one's completely uncompensated. Uh, the neck is interesting. It's uh, a lot of necks are made in pieces. This part down here is a distinctly different piece. I don't know if it's a different piece or a different type of wood. I don't know if you can see that in the video, uh, but it's it's got a different color to it, so it's like taking the stain different. So I don't know if it's a different different type of wood. Uh, the neck looks like it might be. Yeah, that's probably mahogany, solid mahogany. It's got the neat little heel support there. Uh, a lot of guitars uh, are pretty thin right there. And if you put a truss rod in, which this guitar has a truss rod, you lose a lot of material in this area. Uh, you'd be surprised by a, a cross section of what it, how thin uh, the neck is in this spot. So some manufacturers will put this little, this little heel, this little sort of extra just a little bit of extra material there to support that. Uh, it's got some really kind of not so great tuners, uh, but the the uh, tuning key portion is sort of the flat butterbean style, which I really dig. If you've watched my videos, you know that. Uh, it's actually got, it looks like a real abalone or mother of pearl inlay. Um, it's starting to lift a little bit. Uh, no, no truss rod cover on this one, uh, but it had one at one point. Would have been neat to, to see that. Uh, I think the uh, nut and the uh, saddle are just plastic. Uh, plastic uh, pins. Um, came with a strap pin on the back. 
Uh, looks like it might have a cap here. I always like to see the cap there. Uh, you know, this area is kind of sticks out a little bit. And uh, so that's where you're going to bang your guitars. That's why binding, I like binding because it protects the edges of your guitar. Uh, this one, I believe the binding is real on the top and it might be real on the back. I'm not sure. It looks like it's too thin to be real. Um, what they do is they'll paint a binding on the back of some guitars. I think that's a cost saving measure. Uh, neck is C-shaped neck. It's really thick. Um, that looks like a rosewood fretboard. Frets are pretty flat on this. It's been played a lot, I'll bet. Uh, these are actual, I th they might be plastic, but they, they look like mother of pearl sort of inlays. And they're kind of cool because they're, they're a straight, you know, a straight oblong, you know, sort of shape to it, which is kind of cool. And then it's got this <laughs> really cheesy uh, rosette decal on the front of it. And uh, so, yeah, let's see how it sounds. I got my uh, stereo set up here. It projects really well for a small guitar. This is this is probably either either a concert. I'm guessing a concert uh, shape. Not a not quite as small as a parlor guitar, but. They got that it's got that ring to it almost like a harpsichord sound i think it has to do with the the small shape of the body Yeah, it's a great guitar for uh, $10, so you never know what you're going to find out there on the road. Uh, check out your garage sales, check out your uh, vintage shops, check out your uh, Goodwill-type stores and your uh, uh, donations-type centers, because uh, you never know what you will find. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time here on the Guitar Dungeon.